In this video, I want to introduce you to the idea of critical activities and critical paths through an activity network. Now, we refer to an activity as being critical if um, we extend the duration of that critical activity, it will make the whole project overrun. So the activity has to be done in a fixed time slot. There's no wriggle room at all. Okay. Now, how do you identify critical activities in an activity network? Well, for example, here is an activity, let's say we've got activity A and it takes five hours to complete. Okay. If we have for this set of boxes and this set of boxes, Let's say this is 3, 3, and this is 8, 8. Then activity A is critical. So one of the defining characteristics of a critical activity is that the values, the early event time and the late event time, at the start of the activity are the same, and the early event time and the late event time at the end of the activity is are the same. So 3-3 three, three and 8-8. Eight, eight. Now that isn't always a situation that leads to a critical activity. Okay, So you've got to be a little bit careful. right? The reason why I know that this is definitely a critical activity is because the duration goes from 3 to 8. So 3 plus 5 is 8. So I know that A is critical. You can have situations, what was I, I was alluding to there, is that if this duration was 3, then A is not critical. And you might be thinking, well, can this situation ever arise? Well, yes, it can. Okay. So what you can have... For example, is something like this. So let's say that's B and that's 1. And I put the box here as 4, 4. And this could then be C of duration 4, for example. So B is critical because 3 plus 1 is 4, and we've got 3, 3, 4, 4. C is critical, because we've got 4, 4, 8, 8, and 4 plus 4 is 8. But A here is not critical. Now, that is something that can happen in an activity network. Now, what you need to know is that the critical activities form a critical path through the network. So, if, for example, let's say we've got something that looks like this. I didn't draw that very well. Let's try that again. So, I'm just drawing up a, a network. Okay, so let's say it looks something like uh, this. OK, then if I know that this activity is critical, um, then it has to be part of a critical path that runs from that start node to that end node. So if this was activity B, and this was activity A, and this was activity C, you could have a path that goes A, B, C. And this forms a critical path that connects your start node and the end node. OK? So your critical path would be A, B, C. Now, you can have um, more than one critical path through the activity network. So we could, for example, have that one as being critical and that one as being critical. So that might be D, E. And then you've got this other route, A, B, D, E, which is also a critical path through your network. OK, so it is perfectly valid that you could have more than one critical path 
there will always be a critical path through the activity network that you deal with. Okay, so it's important to look out for that and you may be asked to find the critical path as part of the examined question.